But the basic story is of a musician's struggle within himself, basically with self-sabotage and, you know, low self-confidence. And really the catchphrase of the film is, what, what do you do when the biggest thing stopping you is you? We, we really, I guess, revolve around that constantly, but there's, you know, there's parts of the film that um, kind of come from, you know, the, um, the aftermath of drug use and how people, you know, one person can change so many people's lives by just doing some simple things or going, you know, on a simple wrong path and just the, you know, the, the ripple effect of that and everything else is kind of, um, it comes out a fair bit in the movie in a few different instances. As well as, you know, with, with it all, we're trying to promote what it's like in the Perth music scene and being one of the most uh, secluded cities in the world, it's very, very hard to make it here or get any interest at all. And the scene has just really kind of died off, you know. There's more of a scene down south um, around Margaret River and Bridgetown and whatever for original musos than there is in the city. So starting to, you know, focus on that and point out a few things and just, yeah, a lot about the scene. We use a lot of iconic places, a lot of places that have had, um, you know, big bands go through them over the years. How did you actually get involved in this film? Well, basically, um, I've been recording an album with uh, Peter Renzullo, the music you'll be hearing. And, um, and anyway, while I was doing that, he bought a... Um, just a 1080 camera, you know, like an SLR. And I saw that in his studio while I was recording one day, and I'm like, what's that? Are you going to start filming? Uh, what are you doing, you know? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I was just starting to think about doing a few things. And I'm like, well, I'll be the guinea pig, and I want to act, and I want to do film clips, you know? And because we're pretty good mates, he just laughed and said, all right, we'll do something, you know? Your character is named Lenny. What do you do to get into the character of him? Uh, Lenny comes from a lot of parts of myself from the past and also, you know, the present me. But within that time, I've changed a lot as a person. But uh, basically, I draw from that a lot. And then other instances, sometimes the script's been written around someone else that we know in the scene or so something else, you know, and I'm basically taking on that character. So I kind of just pretend, you know, that I'm, I'm various people sometimes at once, but within one person's shell. And it sounds quite funny, but... We're playing a lot of, you know, we're trying to make Lenny play out a, a lot of different characters here as well as his own um, to help people relate with their mental health issues and whatever else that, you know, we're, we're trying to touch on at the time. So, yeah, it, it comes from an array of things, but mainly a lot of it is, yeah, uh, drawing on past experiences, uh, sometimes the things that I hear other people have experienced and also, you know, a lot of just my own projection and thought of what I think the character or all the, the scene should be like kind of comes out in it. Some of your co-stars are using their characters on social media for a bit of fun as well. What have they been doing? There's um, actually a couple of guys that are kind of enemies with Lenny in the film. The actors have made characters on Facebook that every now and again when they get drunk, they rev me up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's quite hilarious, you know, but at the same time it's a little bit, um, it's a bit strange. Is this acting role a nice change of pace compared to the music life? I'm so glad you asked me that. I've been a musician for 20 years and I'm very, very good at it and I love it. But I'd almost like to be an actor better these days or any time simply because when you act, you go into a film, you do your scenes or whatever, it might take a year or two or whatever to get through that film. But once that's done, it's put out to the public and then you don't have to do anything. You can move on to the next thing. If you're a musician, you have to go and record all that stuff and put that product out, like I'm talking about, like you would with a film or whatever. But then after that, you have to go emulate it over and over and over again for people and make sure it's really good. You know, I think that's great. I'm, you know, I love music and I love to tour and make music and do that. But I find, you know, I like to write and just kind of move on. And it's been a funny thing in music for me because I do, I write songs constantly, but in the end... I'd rather just kind of write them sometimes and move on. So I feel like acting has really appealed to me because it's just, you go and you do your piece, it's done, you move on to the next thing. You've written a lot of songs for this film, one being a song called Man at War, which Lisa Marie sings. What's it like to hand over a song to another artist? It's quite hard. It really is. Until they do something like Lisa Marie Caulfield did on that track and then you kind of go, oh, that was the best thing I could have ever done for it. That song was amazing by itself, but as soon as she sang on it, put even a few words on it, I knew exactly what that song needed and that was Lisa.